everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the verbatim Rapier version 2 laser gaming mouse. Now, until I receive this product on my desk, um, I must admit, and I hope verbatim aren't listening to this, but I didn't even know that verbatim made mice. Now, opening it up and using the Rapier version 2 reveals a very racy design and something quite special as well. So let's just take you for a look at what you get inside the packaging first and then I'll run you through some of the features of this really nice mouse. Now inside the packaging this is just a, a backing sheet with some cool graphics on. We also get a quick start guide which is going to walk you through using the mouse and setting it up and the key features. Then we've got a user guide on disk and then if I just open up this part of the packaging we've got the mouse itself. I'm going to pop that to one side because we're going to have a closer look at that in a minute. And then we've got a little pouch here and this is important this pouch because this is used for storing the weights because you do get some additional weights with the Rapier version 2. Now it's a corded mouse as you can see and if I give you a look around the front of the mouse you've got loads of buttons We've got backwards and forwards buttons here, left and right mouse click, some additional buttons here, and a button on the scroll wheel as well. It's a ratchet scroll wheel, so you've got some feedback as you're using it. And around the bottom, this is really interesting, if I open this up, we've got a section here, and you can undo this section, and we've got some little weights underneath. Now. The mouse without the weights in actually weighs in 167 grams, but each of these weights weighs 4.5 grams. Now we've got five in that section there, and under this section we should have an additional two. So there we go, we've got an additional two weights here. And the idea behind this is that you can actually remove the weights and um, custom configure the weight and, and feel of the mouse so you get a really custom uh, sort of feel to how the mouse is tracking and moving across your desk. Now these sections here if you look at this one that I've removed I can either put this back in this way round and it's got two glide pads on or I can put it in this way round and then it's got a single glide pad on it. So you can actually change how it's going to feel tracking across your mouse, as well, uh, mouse pad as well. Let's pop this one back in like so and then I just want to show you, you can do the same with this one. I can either put this back in this way with two tracking uh, mouse pads on or I can put it back in this way so it's got an extra large one showing and it really does change the way that it feels when it's on the desk. So I've got that all back together now and if I put that on the desk that feels a lot different to having the small um, pad showing. Let me just reverse this background. It's hard to demonstrate on video, but now it's back in this way round, just with the two pads and the large one here, that feels different again. It feels sort of lighter at the back end. So it really does have a, a massive effect on how this actually performs. Now, it's got eight buttons in total, a nice long uh, USB 2 cable there, and seven of the buttons, so eight in total, but seven of them are programmable. And you can also store functions and macros to the mouse's onboard memory. So this has actually got memory inside, and that's a really neat feature. Now, I mentioned to you about the uh, reversible plates here to change how the mouse tracks and also the weights. When you've not got the weights in the mouse, you can pop them into the little carry pouch so you don't lose them. There's also a selectable DPI setting on here and you can select it between 800 and 3200 DPI and uh, it just feels like verbatim have really thought of everything with this mouse. It's a, a, a real pleasing mouse to use. I didn't really think I was going to like it but in the hand it feels very comfortable. These left and right mouse buttons have got a good amount of sort of responsive feedback the backwards and forwards buttons are a little bit high for me, these ones on the side, I would have liked them a tiny bit lower down, but they're, they're not too bad, they're not too bad, they're easy to access 
and, and really okay to use. The only uh, real negative I can come up with on this mouse is that the grade of the plastic, these, this is fine, but the grade of this plastic just feels a little bit plasticky. I just think they could have used a better grade material on this section of the mouse. These dark colour bits, that's fine, that feels good quality plastic and as though it's going to last a long time. Now, it's got very smooth tracking, very responsive to use, and the comfort make this a, a very good budget choice for gamers. And the reason I say budget choice is you can spend anything up to about sort of 100 pounds on a good gaming mouse. We were getting a, an extremely capable mouse here for 24 pounds. Bit of a bargain really for something with so many features. If you're in the US, it's gonna cost you $45. I think that is an extremely good buy. This is the verbatim Rapier version two. Thank you very much for listening. Please come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.